hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we will continue our discussion with uh, the physiological transducers uh, used for measurement of displacement and position so far we have covered uh, the variable capacitance variable inductance and the potentiometric the variable resistance transducers in the previous videos so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, another transducer which is used for the measurement of displacement and position in uh, the medical uh, instrumentation for uh, various uh, purposes which is LVDT okay so before that uh, let us uh, just have a quick look about the displacement position and uh, motion measurement requirements in biomedical instrumentation so these uh, transducers are basically used for the measurement of the size of the change in size sh change in shape or position of the various organs in the body with the various body parts for example the change in the diameter of the blood vessels the volume or shape of the cardiac vessels the movement of fluids through heart the diaphragm uh, during respiration the change in shape so all of that come into play the various reasons so for this measurement uh, how linear variable differential transformer will be used okay LVDT that is the short form for linear variable differential transformer okay so this LVDT is, uh, con is used to convert a linear motion basically a to and fro motion about a center position into an electrical signal okay and mostly it is used as a secondary transducer used in conjunction with a primary sensing element uh, we all know about primary and secondary transducers in the video uh, basic concepts about sensors and transducers so primary sensing element for example are ones which sense the parameter the physical parameter but do not convert it into electrical signal for example Borden tube or bellows Borden tubes they sense the pressure and that that pressure corresponds to change in the free end of the tube then that free end can be connected to this LVDT to get us an electrical signal so primary sensing elements they do not produce an electrical output in order to get an electrical output secondary transducer is used so LVDT is generally used in that but uh, that is not our uh, discussion here so basically we are interested in the displacement measurement how we can use it to measure displacement so the basic components in the LVDT setup it is basically a transformer okay a differential transformer so why differential transformer we will see so it consists as it is a transformer so it will have a primary winding it has two secondary windings connected in differential mode uh, the hollow insulated bobbin a ferromagnetic movable core which gives us information about the displacement then we have an AC supply connected across the primary winding so the LVDT setup looks something like this so this is the primary winding across which an AC supply is there then we have the hollow bobbin then we have the ferromagnetic core this core is free to move to and fro away or towards from a center position which is called as the null position then we have two secondary windings connected in differential mode where the output is the difference between the output voltages across these two windings e1 minus e2 that kind of a setup so how this lvdt system works the working principle is such that when the this movable core this ferromagnetic core is at the central position the middle which is the initial position of this uh, this transducer the degree of coupling 
of the primary winding with each of these secondary windings will be the same okay at the center position of this movable core the degree of coupling of the primary winding with each of the secondary windings will be the same so as the degree of coupling with both of them are same same voltage will be generated across their across these secondaries the difference between them will be zero so the net output will be zero volt okay when the core is at this center now when the score moves either towards this side or this side okay this side or away from center position towards left or right then the degree of coupling will increase this primary degree of coupling of this primary winding will increase with one of these secondary windings either the first or the second now that will cause uh, uh, increase in the voltage across the secondary winding with which the coupling is more so it means one of the secondaries will produce a higher voltage as compared to the other secondary winding so in this case the difference will be non zero the difference will be non zero it will not be zero because one of the secondaries is producing a higher voltage now the sign may differ for example if the voltage across this first winding e1 is higher than e2 then the difference will be e1 minus e2 and as e1 is greater than e2 it will be a positive value but if e2 is more than e1 then it will have a negative sign the magnitude will stay the same the sign will be different okay the magnitude will always be the same so it is the sign which gives us the information to which direction or to which side the movable core is if it is towards the left side the sign may be negative if it's towards the right side the sign may be positive and the magnitude gives us the information about the extent or the distance away from the null position okay so the magnitude gives us the information about the distance away from the null position the central position and the sign gives us information about to which side of the null position or the central position the ferromagnetic core is okay so always the differential output will have the same magnitude but the opposite sign depending on which direction the core is moving okay so this is the operating principle now the mathematical expression of this net output voltage it is given in this way now it is a bit lengthy expression it's a complicated expression you don't need to remember this just have a look at it the output voltage is given by this 16 pi cube f i p n p n s by 10 to the power 9 ln r0 by ri 2bx by 3w 1 minus x square by 2b square so here f represents the excitation frequency the frequency of the ac signal which is connected across the primary winding pi is 3.14 ip is the primary current the current flowing through the primary winding then uh, np is the number of turns of the primary winding ns is the number of turns of the secondary winding then uh, r0 is the outer radius of the coil ri is the inner radius of the coil and uh, b is the width of the primary coil and w is the width of the secondary coil and x is the core displacement okay the displacement of the core from the null position remember the initial position of the lvdt is this okay the initial position of the lvdt is this so in biomedical setup this uh, lvdt is placed in whichever position where the displacement is to be measured in different parts of the body now you please don't think that it is a very big setup which is connected to the body now this is just the circuit diagram okay the internal circuitry the actual sensor will be in the form of a chip using uh, mains technology or nanotechnology it will be in the form of a small chip or a electrode which will be connected at the specific body part or the point where the measurement is to be done and then uh, we get the output okay so 
another important thing is the LVDT characteristics where you can see that on either side where the Y axis represents the output voltage with respect to displacement the value it follows this graph okay so at uh, null displacement it will have some initial value it is because of some uh, where the residual voltage which will be there and then it will follow this plot on either side okay so this is the mathematical expression this is the working principle of LVTT for displacement measurement in biomedical setup so this is all about LVDT. So we discussed about uh, LVDT. Now we will discuss about another transducer which is used for measurement of displacement, which is piezoelectric transducer. Okay. So the piezoelectric transducers are uh, based on the piezoelectric effect. Okay which is exhibited by piezoelectric materials. So the basic concept is that when a, a piezoelectric material undergoes deformation because of the application of some external force or pressure, uh, the electric potential, okay, an electric potential is generated across the ends of those crystals okay because of the deformation of the crystal material okay so when pressure is applied on the piezoelectric material they undergo deformation to produce an electric potential so that is the basis of operation the basic concept of operation of the piezoelectric transducers the opposite is also true the inverse piezoelectric effect it is called it means that if an alternating electric potential is applied across the two ends of the piezoelectric crystal or the material it will undergo vibration it will vibrate with a certain frequency or it will undergo deformation okay so the, both ways it is applicable so the piezoelectric crystal materials that are used for the fabrication of these transducers there are two types natural and synthetic natural crystals and synthetic crystals the natural ones they are quartz tourmaline and synthetic ones the rochel salt lithium sulfate dipotassium tartarate so these are all used so basically uh, we have a piezoelectric transducer uh, in this way we will have the piezoelectric crystal which is basically placed in between two electrodes across which the electric potential is uh, obtained and it is taken to be given to further signal conditioning circuitry the force is applied perpendicular to this piezoelectric crystal because of this applied force the material it undergoes deformation and produces an electric potential so the mathematical expression for this electric potential it is given by this expression the electric potential E is equal to GTF by A or it can be written as GTP okay so here g is the voltage sensitivity which is uh, constant for uh, the crystal material depending on what type of crystal we are using it will be a constant value okay so it will be given in the specification sheet so it is given by g is equal to capital k by t where k is the piezoelectric constant t is the thickness of the crystal f is the force applied in Newton A is the area of the crystal surface P is the pressure but here we are interested in measuring displacement so we know that force is equal to mass into acceleration we can write this equation as F is equal to m d square x by dt square where x is the displacement so in this way we can convert it into displacement so the internal uh, um, circuitry is designed in such a way that we will get an output in terms of displacement okay it will it will it will give us an output in terms of displacement so the piezoelectric crystal the the piezoelectric transducer 
it is connected to the specific body part where the measurement is to be done the specific measurement of uh, the displacement of any particular organ or any body part or muscle so whatever reasons we are uh, it is required so it is connected to that point because of the displacement of the respective body part it will cause a, a certain amount of force or pressure on the piezoelectric crystal that will cause a deformation deformation will generate electric potential and will obey this electrical the potential expression mathematical expression from which we will get the displacement in this way okay so this is uh, how displacement is measured using piezoelectric transducer so here we have discussed about two ways of measuring displacement uh, transducers in biomedical measurement the lvdt and piezoelectric transducer so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much